What's up everybody? I am coming to you with a review real quick on the Kingspec 64 gigabyte SSD with a parallel IDE interface. Got it off Amazon. They're, they're available in 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, and 128 gigabyte. That is usually due to the size limitations of IDE drives. So keep that in mind that you don't want to really go above that. They do offer a 256, but you'd have to partition it, especially for Apple devices. Not quite positive on PCs. This is going into a PC, so that is what I am going to do a specific check on. Although I do have a Mac, I would like to order another on if this is successful. What comes in the box is pretty easy. Only do you get your invoice from Amazon. I ordered the 64 gig model. That is $46.99, but it looks like it's a pretty, you know, it says it's a three-year warranty. Uh, looks like pretty decent packaging. It's got the listings of some of the specs here on the back. We're just gonna unbox it real quick and uh, see what we got. I uh, guess it is a box within a box. It has a little window that basically doesn't show anything, but pretty, pretty nice looking for 50 bucks. Inside you have the SSD itself and it looks like there is a ribbon cable in case you have a machine that uses a laptop parallel ATA, but requires it. I, for my case, will not. Also comes with mounting screws which I will need. And then also has the drive itself. So let's pop it open and take a quick look at it. Looks like it's got some either Chinese or Japanese writing on it. it says it is a two and a half inch PATA for parallel ATA drive. Back it's got barcode and serial information. It says it's a parallel ATA 64 gig and got the parallel ATA laptop IDE interface that you would need to put this in an older computer and came with the invoice, which of course reflects the price I paid and it was shipped from Amazon. This one happens to come from Memory C Inc. in Texas. And that is pretty much all there really is to the drive itself. So what I'm going to do real quick is mount it into the drive sled for the computer I need it for and then plug it in and see if it works. The reason I ordered this after actually having a compact flash to PATA interface is because the compacts I buy or I happen to have that are very old do not seem to boot they just hang on the bio screen so I'm hoping that this being an integrated unit and functioning more like a regular drive will actually work better so that is what we will be doing now so I'm going to whoosh my laptop out of the way since I no longer need it for the information and then out comes the computer in question I will be using this is a Compact Presario 1400XL. Uh, I think it's a 244 model. And what you have to do to get to these is take off the side panel that is decorative that you see on this side to access the drive bay. And it has a drive sled, which is what I will now mount this drive in. So we'll probably just snap cut to that. One of the other YouTubers I follow it does something kind of funny. He says, screw, screw, screw when he does it. And I wish I was that funny to have coined that up because it is funny. Shout out to him for being awesome. And I'm obviously gonna snap, snap, snap through these so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this whole thing. But just thought that was kind of funny. Just uh, literally thinking of him in my head as I do this going, screw, screw, screw. Because that is what you're doing after all. <laughs> So drive is now in the sled. It fits very well in a laptop sled. If you need one that has side mounts, it also did have the appropriate smaller side holes for mounting it in a sled that holds it that way. From there, we're just gonna go ahead and pop it in and see how she fits. Shouldn't be an issue, but we'll see. Had the secure lock in it, so that's a good, uh, good sign. We'll go ahead and pop the side panel back on my laptop here. Like I said, these are usually meant to update a vintage computer. This is a computer from the 2000s. Shortly thereafter, the SATA interface was brought in in some time. So a lot of newer computers, even a couple years after this, will have a SATA interface and not IDE. But anything pre-2000s is solidly going to, especially for a laptop, be a parallel ATA, PATA interface. Uh, the main advantage, because obviously an SSD is way faster than the 100 interface that you would have in this computer, is that it doesn't make noise and you're going to get the absolute maximum speed you can from this. Since I want to make this a vintage gaming laptop, 
this will be very good use case for this drive. It will be quick, it will be noise free, and in theory, because it doesn't have any moving parts, will be less failure prone, which on an old computer, you want more of. So I'm gonna now plug this in and pop in a Windows CD and hope that it acknowledges the drive and everything installs well. All right. So I've now got it powered and the computer is booting. I'm going to pop out the CD drive and go ahead and install a Windows CD. Invalid partition table. All right, excellent. So it looks like it has recognized the drive and is not hanging in the BIOS. So I should be able to now boot the XP CD and then go ahead and do the install. So I will run through this install and tell you how it goes. All right, so we are in luck. It booted to the Windows XP install menu. So we are gonna go ahead and press enter to continue. We are going to let it sign our lives away to Microsoft and the drive shows up and it shows up as 6,000 or 61,056 megabytes, which makes about sense for that. So we're gonna go ahead and use that little guy to have as a partition and we are going to do it with NTFS quick because why not make it faster? And then we are going to let the computer set up and install everything and then we will get the results when we get back to booting Windows XP. Here's hoping it works great. This is already solving my problem because the CF2 IDE, PATA IDE adapter I had did not work on Compact specifically. I experienced it on this Compact Rosario 1400 and a Compact Rosario 5400, which was made at about the same time, where they have a very basic BIOS and it likes to just hang with a CF inserted into the IDE to CF adapter. So these drives with the head already built into the SSD interface seem to work a lot better. So here's hoping we'll let this install and uh, with a wave of magic, we will have the uh, XP in and running and I'll give you the review of how it runs. All right, we are back after the install on the laptop I've got here with the 64 gig IDE or parallel ATA IDE to SSD, basically serial ATA drive interface. And that is by Kingspec again. And uh, looks like we've got success. I've got a fully operating version of Windows XP installed on this computer. It is dead silent. It responds super quick, despite being a computer from the 2000s, which usually has a great drive delay. And I am now going to order more of these because I have a couple of different computers that I could actually use these in. Something like a original PowerBook G3, an iBook G3, any pre-2000s laptop probably is gonna have a parallel ATA interface that you can get with this. So I'm probably gonna stick with the 64s. The 128s are only a couple bucks more. If you only want a 32 and you wanna save some money, you can get that and save a couple bucks as well. I thought this was the best value. It was only 48 bucks and for how much of a speed improvement it does, the fact that it's literally silent when you do things, I, I'm all in. I'm super happy with it. It's recognized by Windows XP and I couldn't be happier with it. I would definitely recommend the King Spec SSD with the parallel ATA interface. Definitely check it out on Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. This is not paid or sponsored and I just wanted to do this as a review because I only saw one review on this and I thought it would be good to kind of go over it for anybody who's interested in it who is a vintage gaming person or any vintage computer nerd who wants to replace either a failing drive or has issues with the booting on the CF to PATA interface drives. So thank you very much and uh, if you do like my content I will do vintage computer reviews such as this computer here which, and if you also are interested in travel working out or cars i i'm kind of gonna cover all of them so please feel free to drop a like comment subscribe i would be forever grateful thank you again and i hope this helps